Right, now it's time for 17 again. That's the film where Matthew Perry wakes up in his, old, in his 17 year old body, he's played by Zac Efron. Uh, I've only ever seen this once before, and that was with my friend Shane. When it came out, I don't know when it came out, or 2008. Don't, can't remember if it's any good. It's a Zac Efron film. Last one I saw of them was Bad Neighbours. That was all right. Just give it a watch. Hey, Mike, I can tell you're down, but you're looking at Scarlet kicking you out of the house. Hey, that's my stuff. And the kids want nothing to do with you as a negative. Can you just turn down the music? I guess it's mostly negative, isn't it? Really? Yeah, no upside for it. Mike O'Donnell is at an age when life seems to have passed him by. Bet you wish you had it to do all over again. You got that right. I wish Matthew Perry had done more stuff after In Friends. One extraordinary moment. Hey, get off of there! He'll get to turn back the clock <laughs> and be 17 <laughs> all over again. No way. It's freaking me out. It's freaking me out! I'm pubescent! This is my chance to have my life over, but to do it right. I'm going back to high school, man! Don't even think about sucking me into it with you. I'm here to enroll my son. Sup. This is your wearing? This is hip. <laughs> What'd you do, Mug k <laughs> What are you wearing? You look like Clay Aiken. How does Zac Efron get a body like that? What are you eating? I don't even know. I just know I'm hungry. All the time. And he's back in the game. Hey, Mom. This is Mark. Wow. You look just like my husband. So weird. He's weird. This spring. Surely she realizes that's her, ex her ex-husband. Who do you think you are, my father? He's got one last shot. Oh, it's not about me. It's about helping Alex and Maggie. This is to get things right. One. That was pretty even. Really? On YouTube, it looked like you were getting your butt kicked. When you're young, everything feels like the end of the world. But it's not. It's just the beginning. Hmm. Bit odd. Jonathan Mitchell. Thomas Pierce. Let's begin by summarizing this film. Matthew mm -hmm. Perry was Zac Efron, the star of High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. He was. Uh, he goes to school, he meets a magic janitor, played by Brian Doyle Murray, Bill Murray's brother from mm -hmm. Ghostbusters, and... Brilliant writing. Brilliant writing, mm -hmm. you know, because the ghost link. Um, and then... He falls into a river, a magic whirlpool. I believe you described it in a text message to me, and you said, don't bring that bit up. And then wakes up <laughs> as a 17-year-old him. Defend yourself. Um, not the most original idea, in the sense that it's just a bit of a take on Freaky Friday, really. Well, it's big in reverse, um, isn't it? Yeah. Um, bad writing. Relatively average acting. It just, it just works. It does. That's the thing. It, yeah, just, it, just, it just works. works. It's like, you, you don't watch it expecting to be blown away by this incredible plot, but it's just it's Zac Efron pretending to be Matthew Perry in Zac Efron's body. <laughs> just in like while he's it's just it's and, bizarre. And you know it what? Works. It really does work. You actually believe when Zac Efron's on screen that he is an old man. There's a bit where he's like bouncing around and he's like, I feel so good, and then he goes like oh, you won't be feeling like this in 10 years to another basketball player. I really did believe that Zac Efron was an old man in a young man's body. I, less, I didn't believe, though, that Matthew Perry ever looked like Zac Efron. But again, I know that you have a theory on this. I think in the early days of Friends, Matthew Perry's a very attractive man. <laughs> And I think if you go back five years, he could look like Zac Efron. So you think that if we took Matthew Perry back to his 17-year-old days, he could play in High School Musical? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, a bold statement, I but think I like it. Zac Efron's a relatively under... I, again, I feel that this Underappreciated one, actor. But I do feel that this one is the one that really isn't a guilty pleasure, if I'm completely honest. I think that this is... It is for me. It's very is, guilty for me. I, suppose, I, I feel down watching it. I, I do it. <laughs> without other people watching. Fair enough, John. <laughs> that suggests it's a guilty pleasure, doesn't it? Well, thank you, John. Jonathan Mitchell, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Woo! <laughs> John, off John. you go. Right, right. scoot off. See off. you later. Ta-ta. Seamless. Okay. Well, getting back...